when you're selecting a stock, the stock selection is critical uh, component of making money in stocks. Sure, I have AMD here, and in the last year, it's up 80%. Okay, well, it's outperforming the market, not bad. But some people like Intel because it pays a dividend. Now you tell me, would you rather have AMD or Intel? 80% appreciation in a year, Intel's 10%. 10% is not bad, but I'd rather have the 80%. Another one is people are enamored with Roku, but the trade desk was up almost 48% in the last year. And Roku, I know it's a darling, but it's only been up 17%, which is not bad. But I mean, stock selection there is, you know, 30 more percent appreciation. I think I would, I would rather take the 30%. Um, another one is Crocs. Crocs, you know, everybody knows it's an ugly shoe company. Um, geez, it's up uh, 214% in the last year. And Skechers, I mean, not bad. It's up 40%, but wouldn't you rather have the better stock? How to make money in stocks is highly dependent on stock selection. Uh, Dillard's is another one that I like, if you, I know a lot of people like Nordstrom's, but you know, <laughs> Dillard's is up uh, 600% and Nordstrom 73. 73% is a great year, fantastic. But I think I'd rather have the 600% from Dillard's. Another one that people talk about a lot, it's a leader in the EVs is Tesla, up 155% in the last year. Um, some people like GM and Mary Barra, but whatever, it's up 48%, which is great, but, the stock selection process is critical, and that's my point. And if you want to make big money in the stock market, you got to select the correct stocks. And that's what I do all my screening, and, and I spend a lot of time trying to select the correct stocks and be flexible. If you're wrong, you know, get out and buy the correct stocks. Anyway, uh, we never give up.